It almost felt like the dream gave me something. It gave me a gift, the gift of lucidity, even though I felt I may not be ready. I called this dream an exquisite lucid dream nightmare, and I'm reading it right now. I am walking down a dreamy, hilly street when all of a sudden, a tunnel portal opens mid-street. It looks pitch black inside, and I can't seem to stop walking. I waltz right in and become unwantingly lucid in the process. It's almost like I walked through a threshold. The portal leads down a spiral sort of live staircase. It is a tunnel created by a dragon-like snake. A dragon snake zombie sort of creature face pops out of the darkness and exclaims, welcome to your lucid nightmare. I start to think, uh-oh, should I dread this? Suddenly, the most surprising reaction began to grow within. I began to see the beauty in these supposedly horrific beings, even the dragon zombies. There were all types of beautifully terrorizing creatures of the dark void. I kept descending the stairs leading into lower levels following the gray snake skin spiral body into its core. I kept thinking, is this the world of the inorganic beings full of tunnels like in the Castaneda books? <laughs> or is this just a spiral tunnel of the rich, dark intricacies of my own soul? Yes, me. Then they all revealed themselves as actors, artists in disguise. And I thought to myself, now that their true identity is revealed, I will never view them the same way again. I felt honored to be accompanied by them and to be trusted enough by these dark creatures in the shadows to reveal their workings from behind the scenes. There is a lot of dream work that could be done from this dream. And this is a lucid dream, but it is clearly my journey in shadow work and how lucidity came unwantingly. It almost felt like the dream gave me something. It gave me a gift, the gift of lucidity, even though I felt I may not be ready to face these scary shadows and monsters. And the unexpected response of finding them beautiful and horrific at the same time was really symbolic and mirrored everything that I was going through. If any of you know me from Waking Reality, I don't watch horror movies. I don't like zombies. I would probably, if you were in the movies with me watching a horror film, I would either be uh, with my head buried on your shoulder or in a pillow or walking out that theater or living room. <laughs> and so this is, it's unlike me within my own personality to find something like this gorgeous, beautiful and amazing, full of wonder. <laughs> and this is how my dreaming self and my dream body and the intelligence that I hold within lucid dreams, this is how it surprises me over and over again. The courage that I've been able to feel within my being, within lucid dreams, within dreams, has been astounding. I don't understand sometimes where that comes from and yet I understand that it is a part of me. And possibly, since dreams bring you into balance, they're trying to bring you into balance, then I felt that that strength, that 
shadow slayer, so to speak. And I don't mean by killing, I just mean like slaying a situation was inside of me. And I was going to be able to face and find beauty in my evolution, in my growth, in my consciousness. And I was so grateful that lucid dreaming, and I'm not just talking about it like it's a place in my head or a place in a realm, which sure, I'm looking at it like it is alive. And it is a live energy that is gifting me. And this energy could very well be source or my own highest self could very well be gifting me these moments. And I needed to be humble enough to allow the dream to unfold without trying to control everything, allowing it to be, to give me what I need, because I am trusting the process. I'm trusting the dream as if it is my highest self or my highest good. And with this mentality, which I recommend, you try out of trusting and not being in a victim mentality when you go in, but rather being in a, this is for my highest good, you know, get super spiritual about it or psychological about it, positive about it, that no matter what comes up, you are able to see it from that perspective. And so that, from that very first lucid dream that I had, to the ones where I would surrender myself, and then to the one that I was able to shift my perspective completely as I received the gift and as they revealed, the shadows revealed themselves to me. I am now seeing the journey that I've taken and I continue to take. And now my lucid dreams have changed in a way. They have gone back to guidance from spirit guides because for a while they were gone, but nonetheless um, being guided for the next stage in my life and this is where I'm at and that's the work and that's the dream work and by the way for all of those that enjoy these topics about dreams and so on and so forth consciousness exploration me and a couple of dreaming friends Tree Car, Lucid Dream Tree and Alejandro Salinas have created the Dream Freaks and we're also on YouTube, Spotify, it's a podcast, um, Google Play. So please search for us and geek out on dreams if you're a dream freak like us. And I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear your comments. Please comment below on your experiences in shadow work, facing your shadows and facing your light within lucid dreams. And uh, thanks again for watching. My name is Jennifer Claroscura. And if you like this Please subscribe, like, share, hit the notification button, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time.